I want to go over another document. It is called Meditating on Lustful Thoughts is the same thing as committing them. Let me say this. A lot of the time, demons will try to get you into lust. They will try to implant sexual things in your mind. When this happens, take authority over those thoughts in demons. Verbally say, demons, I bind and cast you out of my mind and area right now. Go to the pit of hell now. Remember, make sure you repent of your sins before you start to take authority over demons. If you are in sin, you have no authority over demons. Once you repent of your sins, God gives you authority over them. If you take, if you try to take authority over demons, when you have not repented of your sins, it will turn tragic. Make sure that you are living the life that God wants you to live before you start battling against the forces of evil. Matthew 5 and 28 But I say unto you, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. What is Matthew 5 and 28 saying? For instance, let's say you are a man. You see a woman with huge breasts, thick thighs, thick waist, beautiful all around. If you start to meditate deeply, imagine yourself having sex or doing sexual things to that woman. According to God in the Bible, you have committed adultery with her in your heart, which is a sin. Does that make any sense? Yes. You may have not touched her, but you still receive the same sin as you did as if you did touch her. Does this make any sense to you? Women, it is the same thing for you too as well. If you start to meditate deeply, imagine yourself having sex or doing sexual things to a man, you have committed adultery with him in your heart. You must repent of that sin as well. As well as any guy that does the same. We all have to keep our minds pure. So I really hope you understand this. This is the end of the document. God bless.